Okay, we're ready? We Guys, welcome back to Hot Sauce at Home. I'm Alex Hill, AKA Just Add Hot Sauce. And again, we're on YouTube. And I'm so excited to bring you guys some of my favorite recipes with the ones you love too. All from my doo -doo 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 food blog, justadhotsauce.com. And we will be back every week for a new episode, so be sure to tune in. Sip break. It's early for a sip break. Brett. I said Brett, but. Glenn. Hot sauce at home. That's what matters, right? Okay, guys. Now a word from our sponsors. So shout out to our sponsors, Michael Lavelle Wine. They are an amazing black owned and operated HBCU grad. Can I do it, Glenn? H-U? No. Oh, I got it! Even though I'm repping Hampton because obviously I went to Hampton. I was outnumbered for the last couple of days. But they're an amazing brand. They are taking over the wine space. They have a rosé that is delicious that I drink year round. And they just released a red Zinfandel. So shout out to the guys at Michael Lavelle Wine. Thank you for sponsoring Hot Sauce at Home. Yay! All right, guys, we are making my weeknight lamb ragu. This is one of my favorite, favorite recipes. The reason being, okay, so bring it back. I'm half Puerto Rican, half black. So I did not grow up eating Italian food. I didn't, like I made, like my mom made rice and beans and a lot of like stewed beef and oxtail and all of that stuff. So I did not like Italian food growing up. Whenever my mom would break out like the jarred tomato sauce and like ground beef, I'd be like, oh God, it's her lazy night. So I didn't like Italian food, but when I went to Italy in 2000, you, you agree with me Glenn, right? Right? Okay. Exactly, Caribbean shit. So when I went to Italy in 2019, I literally fell in love with Italian food. I started liking it like older age, but now I'm obsessed and we don't use jarred sauce here. We're making our own sauce. It's really easy. We're gonna have some umami with the fish sauce and all of that. But yeah, like this is my favorite, favorite meal. And I use lamb because I'm obsessed with lamb. Obsessed. Love right? Good, love a good lamb. lamb is bomb. But if you don't use lamb or don't want to like eat lamb, you can use like ground beef or ground chicken if you want to be like healthy. But we're using lamb today. If you want to do vegetarian, you can do like mushrooms. But we're going to use lamb today. So let's get cooking and drinking. Yeah. Sit break. Sit break. Okay. Action. Okay. So we're going to begin making the ragu. So traditionally, Ragu and like Italian cooking, like their sofrito, which is like the base of their cooking is um, celery, carrots, and onions. I'm just adding onions and garlic because it's quick, it's weeknight, it's, it's my recipe, right? So I'm gonna chop an onion and hopefully I will not cry, which I may cry because I cried the other day. So I may cry. I did sharpen my knife. I sharpened my knife. So actually this is my trash bin. I sharpened my knife, but we're not going to, we're not going to cry because also I have makeup on today. So I have makeup on. So I don't want to, you know, bloop, 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 makeup glam. So that's why I don't want to cry. Um, okay. So I'm going to chop this. I'm using a full onion. This is kind of like a medium size. So I'm going to use the full one. But a hack, not even a hack. So, pop quiz. Glenn, I'm gonna ask you. What side of the onion should you keep on? Do you keep, no, I don't have an onion. Do you keep, hold on. Do you keep the root side on? The root side or the other side? Which side do you keep on when you're chopping an onion? Think fast, Glenn. Other side for sure. What other side? Not the root side. Bloop, 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 bloop. You keep the root side. Why, Glenn? I have no idea. Okay, you keep the root on because onions grow in layers. You see, like, onions grow in layers. So when you keep the root on, it keeps the onion intact. So when you're chopping it, your onions don't go f***ing everywhere. They just stay in place. So when I'm chopping, the root is on. So I'm just going to add some slits. And then I'm gonna add, going towards the root, 
right? And then look at that. They're not going everywhere. I'm learning so much. You are, see? What is it? Tip of the day. Keep the root on. Um, so yeah, you keep the root on. So it keeps the onion intact. All right, I'm back from crying from the onions. So <laughs> I learned this trick recently with garlic when you're making ragu. So um, look at me, now my nose is running because of the onions. But so usually I'll mince like a couple of garlic cloves, but I really just want the oil, garlic, right? I really just want the oil in my ragu to get the garlic flavor. So I'm just gonna like smash a couple of garlic cloves. So they, so the oil just like infuses with the garlic. So I'm not gonna like finely mince them. I'm just gonna smash them. And also, I have a really great um, olive oil brand. This is home base. She is Dominican. Uh, yeah, what am I trying to say? She's Dominican, woman of color. She makes really great salt-free spices and really great infused oils. And this is a garlic infused extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to furthermore incorporate garlic with this. So we're gonna use that today. But Sharice, she's super great. She sent me a bunch of stuff, like love her. Shout out to home base. So I'm just gonna sm uh, smash some garlic cloves and then we're not gonna chop them. We're just gonna smash them. Also when you smash it, it releases all the juices. Mmm, yum, that's what she said, releases all the juices. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay. Steve Corral over here. Steve Corral, all right, so that's done. The garlic is smashed, the onions are chopped, and then I'm going to crush our tomatoes. So, we don't use jarred tomato sauce. That's so 1990. We're using whole steamed San Marzano. This is my favorite brand, San Marzano um, tomatoes. So, the reason being is you know what's going in your tomato sauce. So I always like to use the whole steamed, and then this is like great if you have like kids or whatever, they can like be like, oh my God, mom, I wanna help you. You can just like have them smash the tomatoes with their hands. And I like these because you can control the flavor, you know what's going in your sauce, and you know, it's, there's not a bunch of like preservatives and additives, like it's, you're, you're making, you're literally making your own sauce. So I'm just crushing them. And then these will cook down. Yeah, crush, crush. If you have little kids, you can do this, but I'm just crushing them. It will cook down. Mmm, it's gonna be good. I get low. Okay, we are back, and we're, we're about to start making our lamb ragu. Okay, so I'm gonna add a big couple gloops of extra virgin olive oil. This is the um, garlic infused, because I wanna further infuse like the garlic flavor into that. So again, we have hard exact measurements on the blog, but we are doing feels today, right? So garlic infused virgin, extra virgin olive oil is heating up and then it's already hot right now. So I'm gonna add onions. That's gonna cook down for like three minutes. And remember, we season in layers. So, some salt. This is not salt, this is pepper. Because the salt is gonna help extract some of that liquid from the onion. So just a little bit. Ooh, I can smell the garlic. Glenn, can you smell it? I can. Okay. Yeah. Yum. So onions are cooking down. And once that gets like a little soft, we're just sauteing. 
I'm gonna throw in the garlic. And remember, we already have garlic infused olive oil, so even more garlic flavor. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm leaving them whole because I just want the oil to be infused with the garlic. I don't want like little bite-sized pieces of garlic in there. Just infuse it. Excited! Excited! Okay. Raise the roof. Can you raise the camera roof? Wait. What can we do? Raise the camera roof. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's cooking down. All right. This is a fun part. It smells delicious. Okay. It's been a long time since the sip break. Oh my god, the sip break. Sip break. How many am I at? Ding 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 ding. Sip break. We're gonna check at the end. Okay. So next, we're going to further infuse and make this ragu very, very, very delicious. Okay. So onions are cooking down. Garlic is in there. So I'm going to add some tomato paste to further reinforce that tomato flavor. This is I'm gonna add like a tablespoon. And I just want that to change colors a little bit. So it's gonna go from like a bright red to like a deep red. So basically I'm like caramelizing the tomato paste. And this is gonna help like add that further depth of like tomato flavor to the ragu. Yum, yum, yummy, 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 yummy. I'm hungry. Glenn, are you hungry? I'm so hungry. Okay. You see how it's like changing color? It went from like a bright red to like a deep red. Yeah. Okay. And my next, my next trick, no. Calabrian chili peppers. It's spicy, it's fruity, it is God's gift to earth for cooking. I like spice, obviously, so I'm running out, so I need to get more, so I'm actually gonna use this entire thing. I'm gonna add that. And it just gives like a little bit of spice. It gives the ragu more like character. It's so fucking good. Oh my God. Huh, why? From spicy? Oh my God. Okay, so Calabrian chili peppers are in. We love this. You see? Delicious. And then we are going to add, this is a trick a lot of people use. You can either use um, anchovies or fish sauce or a little bit of soy sauce. I like to use fish sauce because it gives that like umami, like savory, salty flavor in your mouth. Fish sauce, I can, well you shouldn't drink the whole thing, but it's really delicious. So, sh shut up, okay. So I'm just gonna add like a dash of fish sauce. And that's just gonna like Cook down, it's adding some umami, it's adding all of those delicious, savory flavors. And then, where's my scissor? We're gonna add our lamb, we're gonna cook our lamb. And again, we are going to like season this again with salt and pepper because we need to season our lamb. So, but you see the goodness? Glenn, zoom in, look at this shit. Look at this, look at this fucking goodness. Oh my God, okay, so I'm gonna add our ground lamb and that's gonna cook. This is a full pound of ground lamb. And lamb is lean, so it's not gonna extract like a lot of fat. Do you smell it? Oh my God. This smells so good. Okay. 
Look at this. Look at this goodness. Oh my God. Delish. It's releasing some fat. Just a little bit. Cause it's lean, right? Cause it's lean. Cause it's lean. I'm gonna taste it cause I just want to. Cause it smells so good. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So because this is the Michael Laval Ziffendale is a full body red, I'm actually gonna add some to my ragu. Just a little bit. That's gonna add some flavor. A little bite. It's going to be delicious. And what is it, Glenn? Sit break. Oh my god. Sip break. Right. Just basing them out today. Sip break. Okay. So this is gonna cook down. I'm just gonna let the alcohol cook off a little bit. Oh my god. Delicious. And it's a little bit spicy. I'm gonna add a little bit more. fish sauce and a little bit more because we season in layers right so you taste as you go you're like okay like I want a little bit more umami I want a little bit more savory a little salty and remember salt brings out flavor nine times out of ten when you taste something you're like this tastes flat it's salt you need salt so salt brings out flavor I always always say this taste your food as you can go Taste as you go, okay? So, nine times out of 10, you need salt. Okay, you know? All right, so I'm gonna add the tomatoes. So this can go like old school, like Sundays, cook down, nice and slow. You can leave it on low for a couple hours. It's an easy weeknight meal, or you can do it in 30 minutes, it's fine. But the tomato's just gonna cook down, so I'm gonna add that. Mix that together. And you don't want to taste it yet because the tomatoes have just been added. So you want to let this cook down for a second. I'm, so I'm going to lower this just a little bit. Put the top on and let it cook for like, listen, it's Sunday. Or like, imagine you're making this on a Sunday and you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna let this go low and slow. Let the flavors develop, let them date a little bit for like an hour, maybe two, an hour. Okay, so I'm gonna let that, gonna put it on. It's like medium low, gonna cover it. And we'll be back. Ah! Oh, I can stir it. Yum. I'm gonna taste it too. Mmm. Very good. This has been cooking down for like 45 minutes. So it's nice and luscious and bubbling. And the tomatoes have incorporated with the garlic and the onions and the Calabrian chili peppers and the lamb and all of that. I'm gonna go ahead, cause I tasted it. Let me taste it again because I'm hungry. And taste it again. Fuck, that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna season a little bit with salt. A little bit more pepper and I like to finish off my ragu with a little bit of balsamic vinegar so it adds like a little bit of sweetness which I love and a little bit of city so it balances everything out so just a little bit just a tad and I add it towards the end so you can still kind of like taste it 
And you'll taste like, mmm, what's that pop? What's that pop of acidity? Mmm, what's the pop? Okay, so that's gonna continue. I'm gonna lower that even more. Cause now this is like basically done. I'm gonna taste it. Whoa, F***ing delicious. Okay, I'm covering that. And then I'm gonna add our pasta. My water's boiling. Remember, we are adding a lot of salt. This is kosher salt because we basically want it to taste like the sea and we want our noodles to be seasoned just as much as our sauce, right? So I'm gonna add some cavatappi noodles and that's gonna cook till like al dente, like nine minutes. And remember, Glenn, what's our tip of the day? Cut onions from the root? No, second tip of the day. Our tip of the day is remember, you always wanna add kosher salt to boiling water. You don't wanna add it when it's not boiling because it won't distribute evenly. You wanna add it when it's boiling, so it's like, Salt is distributed evenly. That was like two episodes ago. Two episodes, but tip of the day. Okay, nine minutes. Let me set my timer. Nine minutes. Al dente. Sit break. Sit break. Who's made this wine again? Michael Lavelle. Shout out to our sponsors. Also, this is a great story. So. This is how I know Michael Lavelle. Am I in shot? Oh, hey! Okay, so, fun fact. Me and Brandon Crump go way back from our ratchet days in the club at like 22. I knew him when my friend was dating his friend when he was a promoter. So I've known Brandon since I was like 22 and now we're not that old, but older, like 30. Little bar seven day. Plus, bar seven, Cafe Asia. So, shout out to B, shout out to Brandon Crump, my guy. So, this is how Michael Lavelle all came about, which is that hot sauce. So, shout out to Brandon. Love you. Our noodles are done. Our lamb ragu is done. Remember, pasta water is bomb. You want pasta water. So I'm just literally just gonna like drag it over and worry about cleanup later. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to scoop a little bit of pasta water. A little bit of pasta water. Just a little more. Because remember that has a starch. That's good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pasta water. And then mix everything up. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. Look at that. Glenn, are you getting this? I am. Yum. Always. Look at that. Look at that. Delish. Delish. Next, we're gonna serve. We're gonna serve. Okay, I'm gonna use a, don't judge me. I'm gonna use this. It's a big scoop. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Oops. You're the boss, you can do what you want. Right, I'm the boss. Okay. Look at that! Okay. Done. Done. Action. Okay, so the best part, we're gonna garnish with some basil leaves. Bloop. Delish, because we want some fresh herbs. And then, Glenn, get this. Wait, if I can fucking open it. Wait. Burrata cheese, because we're fancy. So, burrata cheese is my obsession mm. and we're just going to plop that on and drizzle a little bit of this olive oil. Oh my God! 
And then, hold on, we're not done yet. There's more, just a little bit of finishing salt. And fresh cracked black pepper. Look at this, Glenn. Because you got to cut the burrata. Look at that. Oh! Oh! Mmm! So, when you taste it, look at that. Guys, cheers. Weeknight lamb ragu. Bomb. Woo! Mmm! That is delicious. So good. Mm. How does it go with the uh, wine? Woo! The hot was good. It goes perfectly with wine. Full body, meaty, rich. It goes perfectly with the Michael Laval. Red Zinfandel. Delicious. I'm hungry. That's delicious. Oh my God. Glenn, get some. Okay. Action. Guys, that is another episode of Hot Sauce at Home. I'm Alex Hill, aka Just Add Hot Sauce. Thank you for joining me for this week's episode. Be sure to tune in next week. And also follow me on my social, Just Add Hot Sauce underscore. And like, subscribe, comment, and share. And go to the bloop, 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 food blog, justadhotsauce.com. Also, shout out to our sponsors this week, Michael Lavelle Wines. You guys are the best. See you next time. Bye.